Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me for another practice today. My name is Laura if you are new here and today I'm gonna to be guiding you through a practice that I have called No Fuss Vinyasa Flow. This is for those of you who just wanna jump in, a short and sweet practice, move the body, go through the foundations and just focus on the body and the breath and coming into this present moment. So we're gonna start just seated with a little bit of pranayama, very, very short amount. Um, and then we're gonna build our flow and just move fairly continuously throughout. So when you're ready, just come into a comfortable seated position. You can have your hands resting onto your knees or on your lap and just grow nice and tall through your spine. And once you're there, just take a moment to get comfortable, take a moment to find stillness. Allow the eyes to close if you can. And then straight away, just connect with your breath. Just begin to deepen, to lengthen your breath. Just taking your unconscious breath into more of a conscious breath. And we're going to start today with our breath of fire, so Kapalabhati. Just one round of 50 pumps of the belly. We'll go through it together and then we'll continue on with our practice. So to begin with, let's just take a big breath in through the nose. And a slow breath out. And then inhale to prepare. And then begin your pumps. <laughs> Last ten. And then on your last pump, just exhale fully, empty, empty, empty. And at the bottom of the exhale, hold the breath out. Draw the belly button to the spine. Tuck the chin to the chest. Draw up through your mula bandha. Holding on empty for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, release your locks, take a slow, deep breath in through the nose, fill up through the belly, fill up through the chest. And at the top of that breath in, hold it there. Draw in the belly, draw in the mula bandha, tuck the chin to the chest, hold on full now for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, release your locks, lift the chin, take a deep breath in through the nose. And then a big sigh, just let it go. Close the lips, come back to your breathing. Maybe switching on ujjayi breath, finding that slight constriction through the back of the throat. And then continuing to breathe in this steady rhythm. Let the eyes flicker open. Roll over the knees and make your way into downward facing dog. And in down dog, just begin to take any movements that you need to take. Bicycle the legs, shake the hips. Just kind of move around right away. Tuning into the body, tuning into the breath. Setting yourself up for your practice. And then just find stillness, relax the ankles, little bend in the knees as you press the chest towards the thighs. Take a full breath in. And a big breath, let it go. And on your inhale, roll forwards, come to high plank, shoulders draw forwards above the wrists. 
as you exhale, just wave it back into down dog. So just connecting that breath to the movement. Inhale, wave forwards, come to plank pose. And then exhale, wave it back into your down dog. One more time, inhale, roll forwards, come to plank pose. And then exhale, wave it back into your down dog. On an inhale, lift the heels, look forwards. Exhale, make your way to the top of the mat. Bring your feet mat distance apart. So once you're there, just heel toe the feet nice and wide. Bend the knees slightly, let the head draw towards the floor. Find this wide ragdoll position. Maybe grab opposite elbows, maybe sway a little bit side to side, just kind of easing your way into the back body. And then find stillness. Turn your heels in slightly, your toes out slightly. As you inhale, bend the knees deeply. Look forwards, lift the chest. Bring your hands to the heart in your active squat. Think about drawing the knees open towards the little toe edges of the feet. Press firmly through each toe. Take an inhale here. And then exhale, turn your toes forwards. Straighten the legs as you fold forwards and down. Nice, we're going to do that three more times. So as you inhale, turn your toes out, bend your knees, lift the chest into your active squat. Exhale, straighten the legs, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, bend the knees, hands to heart, active squat. Exhale, forward fold, hands down, head releases. Last like this, inhale, bend the knees, active squat, hands to heart, lift up. And then exhale, straighten the legs as you forward fold. Beautiful. This time, inhale, find a halfway lift, flat back position. And then exhale, drop the hands down, step the left foot back and drop the left knee to the floor in this lizard lunge shape. As you inhale, send your right arm to the sky, just turn open through the chest. And then exhale, release your right hand back down into your lizard lunge. Tuck the left toes, inhale, step back to high plank, one strong straight line. And then exhale to the belly, knees can be up or down. Untuck your toes, inhale for cobra number one, elbows bent, chest lifts. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift up and back into downward facing. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Inhale, look forwards. Exhale, step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Go ahead and drop the left knee down. This time, inhale, reach your right arm forwards up and back. Open up into this twist. Stay there, or as you exhale, bend the left knee. Reach back, grab the foot or the ankle. Maybe you're just drawing the heel in, not holding on to anything. And just think about opening into the front hip flexor. A breath in. And a breath out. Lovely. Take one more inhale. Exhale, release the left foot. Release your right hand back into your lizard lunge. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee, turn the back heel flat. And then find side lunge at the back of the mat. Begin to bend the left knee, walk the hands towards the left foot as you straighten the right leg. So a nice active variation to start with. Bring your left forearm to your left thigh, bring your right palm to meet the left. And just bend into that left knee as you lift the chest. Just finding that opening in the right hamstring, breath in. And a breath out. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor. Pivot to face the back of the mat into your lizard lunge into the left leg. Left foot nice and wide, hands to the mat. Take an inhale, look forwards, lift the chest. And then exhale, step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Inhale, active squat, bends the knees, hands to the heart, lift the chest. And then exhale, straighten the legs, release your hands next to your hips, coming into your wide stance mountain pose. Really nice. On your inhale, raise your arms up, look to the thumbs. Exhale, forward fold, little bend in the knees, hands down, head in. Inhale to halfway lift. 
exhale hands down step the right foot to the back of the mat go ahead and drop the right knee down inhale left arm to the sky open up into your twist exhale hands back down to the mat inhale plank pose step back exhale to the belly knees can be up or down untuck your toes inhale for cobra number two really engage through the lower body exhale tuck your toes down dog lift the hips high take one breath in and one breath out inhale look forwards exhale left foot steps to the outside of the left hand and then drop the right knee down inhale left arm reaches forwards up and back behind you twisting exhale stay there or bend the right knee grab the foot or grab the ankle hips forwards chest open a few moments breath in and breath out lovely take one more inhale exhale release the foot release the left hand back to your lizard lunge tuck the right toes lift the knee and then turn the back heel flat active side lunge begin to bend the right knee as you walk the hands towards the right foot lift the left toes if you can right forearm to fire left palm to meet it bend into it lift the chest feel that stretch through the hamstring and in the inner thigh take an inhale here and an exhale one more inhale exhale hands to the floor walk the hands towards the front of the mat turn your right toes forwards into your lizard lunge right knee is bent inhale look forwards lift the chest exhale step the left foot to the outside of the left hand bend the knees inhale active squat hands to heart lift the chest exhale straighten the legs release your arms next to your hips really really nice this time just heel toe your feet together finding your mountain pose continuing on let's inhale send your prayer to the sky look to the thumbs exhale forward fold uttanasana nose to knee inhale to halfway lift hands to shins exhale step or jump back lower down chaturanga or to the belly inhaling up dog or cobra open up exhaling downward facing dog take a full breath in and a full breath out inhale lift heels look up exhale step or hop the feet forwards inhale flat back exhale forward fold inhale arms to sky urdhva hastasana exhale forward fold right back down inhale halfway lift exhale vinyasa step or jump lower with control inhaling to your back bend exhaling downward facing dog take a full breath in and a slow breath out inhale lift heels look up exhale step or hop forwards inhale to flat back exhale to forward fold inhale arms to sky urdhva hastasana exhale uttanasana forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale vinyasa step or jump lower with control inhaling to your back bend exhaling to downward facing dog take a full breath in and a slow breath out inhale raise heels look up exhale step or hop forwards inhale to halfway exhale uttanasana inhale arms to the sky 
This time, exhale, release your arms next to your hips. Take a deep inhale. Big sigh, let it go. On your next inhale, bend the knees. Find Utkatasana chair pose. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, let it go. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump back, lower down through your vinyasa. Inhaling to up dog or cobra. Exhaling to downward facing dog. On your inhale, raise your right leg to the sky. As you exhale, bend your right knee, open your hip, squeeze the right heel towards the glutes and find a little tuck of the tailbone so the lower back's nice and long. Take a full inhale here. Exhale, right foot steps forwards, back heel drops to the mat. Inhale, warrior one, rise up. Exhale, settle in. Arms are strong and straight, big bend in that front knee, breath in. Breath out. On your inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, lean forwards, pyramid pose. Fingers to floor blocks or shin. Chin draws towards the shin. Take an inhale. And an exhale. And on your next inhale, bend the right knee. Rise back to your warrior one. Exhale, hands down, step back into downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg sweeps up and back. Exhale, bend the left knee, open the hip. Again, find the length through the lower back. Press into the fingertips evenly as you inhale. And then exhale, left foot steps forwards, back heel drops. Inhale, warrior one, rise up, follow the breath. Exhale, bend into it, feel the strength through the legs. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, pyramid, forward fold, fingers down, chin towards the shin. Don't strain the hamstring, little bend is there if you need it. Breath in. And breath out. Inhale, bend the knee, warrior one, follow the breath back up. Exhale, hands down, step back to downward facing dog first. On your inhale, roll forwards, come to high plank. Exhale, all the way to the belly this time. Untuck your toes, interlace the fingers behind your lower back. And then inhale, locust, squeeze everything up as you lift the chin, lift the legs. Lovely, take an inhale, hold. And then exhale, release the hands, step it back into your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Inhale, raise heels, look up. Exhale, step or hop the feet forwards. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up. And then exhale, release your arms next to your hips. Bring your feet about hip distance apart, spread and press through the toes. Transfer the weight into the right foot. As you inhale, send your arms to the sky, draw the left knee into the chest. As you exhale, warrior three, extend the arms and the left leg behind you, maybe aeroplane the arms, maybe hands to the heart. Hold warrior three, lift up through the chest. Breath in. And breath out. Take an inhale. As you exhale, slowly bend the right knee, step the left toes back. Inhale, crescent lunge, sweep the arms forwards and up. And then exhale, warrior two, open the arms, open the hips. Take a moment to establish warrior two, just settle into your foundations. Breathing in. And breathing out. And on an inhale, reverse your warrior. 
Exhale, bend into that right knee. Inhale here. And then exhale, right forearm to right thigh, left arm to the sky just for a moment. From here, option to stay, option to turn the left palm backwards, find your half bind, back of the left hand to the lower back or the right inner thigh. Once you've got that, begin to straighten the right leg, bring the back of the right hands to the inner thigh or shin and turn open the chest into your bound triangle pose. Pressing through the feet, breath in, breath out. Take one more inhale. Exhale, look down if you're not. Release the left arm to the sky. Inhale, bend the right knee. Find warrior two. Exhale, car all the hands down. Step back to plank, either down dog or lower chaturanga. Inhaling cobra or up dog. Exhaling into your downward facing dog. Same leg this time. Inhale, right leg lifts high to the sky. Exhale, step the right foot forwards between the thumbs. Inhale, look forwards, lift the chest, runner's lunge. Exhale, standing split, lift the left leg up and back behind you as you draw the chin to the shin. Maybe your hands stay framing the foot. Maybe you challenge your balance a little bit further. Take the right hand behind the ankle. Maybe even the left hand into your balancing standing split. Squeeze the glutes. Lift that left heel high. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, bring your feet together. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, circle the arms to standing. Reach up, press the palms. Exhale, release your arms into your mountain pose. Amazing. Take the feet again about hip distance apart. Transfer the weight into the left foot. This time, inhale, right knee to the chest as you draw the arms to the sky. Exhale, warrior three. Send the right leg back, aeroplane the arms or hands to heart. Find a moment of balance. Take one more inhale. Exhale, bend the left knee. Step the right toes to the back of the mat. Inhale, high lunge. Arms reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Find your foundations. Take those little adjustments. Really nice. On your next inhale, reverse your warrior. Big stretch through that left hand. Exhale, bend into the left knee. Inhale, rise back to warrior two. Exhale, left forearm to thigh, right arm to the sky. Turn your palm and then again, maybe find that half bind, lower back or the left inner thigh. And then once you're there, straighten the left leg, back of the left hand to the inner thigh or shin, and then turn open through the chest. Maybe you gaze up, maybe you gaze down, really press through the feet regardless. Take an inhale. And an exhale. Take one more in breath. Exhale, look down, release your right hand. Inhale, warrior two, bend the left knee, rise back up. Exhale, cart all the hands down, step back to plank, either down dog or move free or vinyasa. Inhaling to your back bend and exhaling, downward facing dog. Really nice, same left leg. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, left foot steps forwards between the thumbs. Inhale, lift the chin, lift the chest. Exhale, standing split, lift that right leg up and back. Little bend in the left knee if you want it. Again, stay there. Maybe left hand comes behind the ankle. Maybe right hand meets it. Hold your standing split. Take one big breath in. 
and then exhale feet together forward fold let it go inhale stand all the way up palms press above the head and then exhale release your arms find your mountain pose take a deep breath in and a big ah let it go <sighs> take your feet about hip distance apart coming back to that right side inhale draw the arms to the sky bring the left knee into the chest this time exhale bend your right knee place the left ankle on top of the knee bring the hands to the heart sit down into your figure of four chair pose chest forwards bum backwards until you feel a nice sensation or a stretch through the left outer hip left glute hold it here for a moment inhale and exhale perfect as you inhale straighten the leg draw the left knee to the chest arms to the sky exhale warrior free send the left leg and the arms back find your warrior free just one big inhale now exhale bend the right knee step the left toes to the back of the mat inhale crescent lunge arms forwards and up exhale warrior two open the arms bend into it inhale reverse your warrior exhale forearm to five find your side angle pose find that half bind again take the left hand behind you maybe grab the inner thigh this time stay here maybe right hands to a block or the floor or maybe you're going for your full bind, in which case you're taking the right shoulder underneath, taking the left fingertips with the right hand, or if you've got a little bit more space, see if you can hold the left wrist with the right hand, and then you're working on straightening through that left arm. Wherever you are, really press through the feet, breath in, breath out. Take one more inhale. Exhale, release any binds that you have. Left arm to the sky. Inhale, warrior two, rise all the way up. Exhale, cart all the hands down. Step back to plank, either down dog or lower chaturanga. Inhaling, up dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward facing dog. On your inhale, reach the right leg to the sky. Exhale, right foot steps forwards between the hands. Inhale, crescent lunge this time, rise up. And then exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Twist to the right, hook the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Use that connection to draw the chest around, maybe looking over that right shoulder. Take a full breath in and a full breath out beautiful take one more inhale exhale look forwards and down release the hands into your runner's lunge inhale lengthen the chest look up exhale left foot steps forwards find your forward fold nose to knee inhale circle the arms all the way up to standing gaze up and then exhale, release your arms, find your mountain pose. Really nice, again, feet a hip distance apart, last side like this. Bring the weight into the left foot. Inhale, draw the right knee to the chest, the arms to the sky. Exhale, figure of four chair, right ankle, left knee. Hands down and then bend into that left knee, bum back, chest forwards. Only go as far as you need to, to feel that stretching sensation. Take an inhale. And an exhale. As you inhale, draw the arms to the sky, left knee to the chest. Exhale, warrior three, extends the right leg and the arms back behind you. Take just one big breath in here exhale bends the left knee step the right toes back inhale arms to the sky exhale warrior two open up bend into it 
Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle, left forearm to thigh, right arm reaches up to the sky. Take that half bind, wrap the right hand around if you're going there. Left hand to a block or the floor, or again, you're tucking the left shoulder under, finding the fingertips, or maybe grabbing the right wrist with the left hand. Wherever you are, think about turning the chest open towards the sky. Breathing in. Breathing out. Try to slow the breath. Take one more in breath. Exhale, release any binds that you may have. Inhale, warrior two, rise up. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, step back to plank, either lower or straight back to down dog. Inhaling to up dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Really, really nice. Last little bit here, left leg lifts as you inhale. Exhale, left foot forwards. Inhale, crescent lunge, rise up. And as you exhale, hands to the heart, twist to the left, hook the right elbow to the outside of the knee. Use that connection to twist the chest around, looking over the left shoulder. Taking an inhale here. And an exhale. Take one more inhale, press through the feet. Exhale, look down, release the hands to the floor. Inhale, liz, lunge, sorry, look forwards. Exhale, step the right foot forwards, forward fold. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up. And then exhale, bring your hands to your heart and just close down the eyes. Take a deep breath in. And a big sigh, let it go. <sighs> Just slow the breath down. Notice the pulsing, any heat, any energy traveling through the body. When you're ready, just release your arms next to your hips. Take an inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step back to high plank. And then lower all the way down to the belly. Take your feet about hip distance apart, maybe a little bit wider, setting up for Dhanurasana. Bend the knees, soles of the feet to the sky, reach back, grab the feet or the ankles. Press the hip bones down and then when you're ready, inhale, come on into it. Lift up through the chest, opening through the shoulders. Breathing in. Breathing out. Take one more breath in. And then exhale, release everything back to the mat. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, legs extend behind you. On an inhale, press to tabletop position. And then this time, exhale, child's pose. Push the bum back. Let the forehead rest to the mat. Again, just take a moment to settle, to soften. Take a moment after all of that dynamic movement, all of that flow, just to notice, notice everything that's going on for you. And then slowly tuck the chin to the chest, slide all the way up into a kneeling position at the back of the mat. Sit the bum onto the heels, rest your hands onto your thighs, grow tall and just close down the eyes. And let's together just finish our practice by taking three deep cleansing breaths. So take a full breath in through the nose. 
and a big ah, let it go. <sighs> Two more like that. Inhale. Ah, <sighs> last time. Big breath in and a big sigh. <sighs> Bring your hands together into prayer. Bow the forehead down, thanking yourself for your energy, your time. Thanking your body for its strength, its openness, its stamina. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide during your practice today. The light in me honours the light in you. Well done. Thank you so much for showing up, for joining me on the mat today. If you did like this one, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments how you found it. And please, if you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel. Um, and remember, I always offer live Zoom classes, which are an hour long uh, with me live on Zoom, obviously, or you can grab the recording. But anyway, thank you for joining and I look forward to seeing you at... Um, another time this week for another video.